Hmm, g'day, Tragic here, and welcome back to Arkham Horror. I'm going to power through the next two turns, because I'm pretty sure we're going to finish this game in two turns. We have one, two, three, four, uh, we've only got four. One, two, oh yeah, five. One, two, three, four, five. So we've got five Elder Signs. We only need six to win. We have an open gate here. We have an Elder Sign in hand, and we've got Fine Gate. So basically, we should be able to get into the Outer World this turn, get out at the end of the next turn, and close that gate unless something terrible happens. So I'm going to just power through these two turns, and hopefully that is going to do it. Okay, so I want... Uh, I guess I could just send Jenny to do it. What she got? One, two, three, four... She's a movement of three. Yeah, so I'm going to send Gloria through. I mean, it's just because she's the one I had planned to do anyway. So that's what we're going to do. Now, she needs to get in here. There is a Star Spawn and a Night Gaunt in the way. They're both fairly nasty. Some negative three and uh, two sanity loss. Now, she basically only has spells to deal with. We did give her a shotgun. But that's only going to give a plus four. We do have a double speed because of Pikmin. So he's actually got a huge amount of movement. So she's actually got four, five, six movement even before she uses anything else. And she can create six, seven, eight, nine at the cost of one sanity. So nine minus three is six. So that means she's got six dice coming off her her two spells for one sanity cost, which isn't a lot considering. Uh, what else do we have here? There's nine here. So I think what she's going to do, firstly, she's going to do Voice of Ra. As part, she's already at four law. Let's just work out how much movement we want to give her. We want to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, actually, let's do this. Let's get the warding. Th yeah, let's do that instead. So, how much movement she's got? She's got four, five, six movement. This guy has the motorcycle. So that's that's eight movement she has basically. But she's gonna spend the motorcycle movement to get to there. So that's no unless there's something here we want. Flew to the outer gods. And healing sun. Yeah, let's do this. So she's gonna go four movement. She's gonna put her will to zero and leave a law up. She's going to get rid of that, not cast that. And she's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. And she's going to take the motorcycle and the healing stone and the flute of the outer gods and put that over here. Okay. So she's now got the healing stone and the flu of the other gods, and the motorcycle. She's already got a motorcycle. So she can actually move. Wow, she's got a lot of movement. So she's got one, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten movement. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so she went one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that is four movement plus four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And while she's here, she's going to take this thing and she'll also take this from him. And that is that. So she's beefed herself up. Okay, now she is here. 
Let's have a look at Flute of the Outer Gods. Any phase, lose three sanity and three stamina to discard Flute of the Outer God before making a combat check to defeat all monsters in your current area. This is not affect the ancient ones. So she's just going to go one, two, three, one, two, three, and defeat both of these monsters. Bam, you blam. Nice. That leaves her only one stamina, but she should be fine. Okay. Now it's Dex's turn. We don't really have much to do with these other characters, so I'm just going to go really quickly and basically just hoover up some clues. There's nothing we really need them to do. Uh, he has a die to roll for his blessing. I don't know what this clue is doing here. I'll just chuck it out. Uh... Where is he? He can just go one, two, three, pick up this one. She can go, she gets a dollar and she can roll. She can go one, two, three, up to the Arkham. She rolls a one, so she loses her blessing. He kept the blessing. And she can just uh, go one, two, in the administration. This girl here, she gets a sanity back. And she's going to teleport over here using the patrol wagon. Actually, she's not. Who's got a low sanity? Okay, she's going to teleport over here. Actually, she's get. Let's go to the curiosity shop. And while she's at the curiosity shop, she'll take one, two, three, four, five of the coins from Mandy. Mandy's going to stay at the curiosity shop, and that's that. So she gets sucked into the other world that takes her to Yogoth. Yablamo. This is, what is this, Independence Square? A shadow falls across you from no apparent source, and you shiver with more than just coal. Pass a will minus one check. Should pass this. He's got like five will. Kimal. Pass. All is a sanity and a stamina. He passed, so nothing happens. He is at the newspaper, I believe. Yep. Flipping through the early edition, you are surprised to see that one of the classified ads begins with your name. Realizing it, you realize that it contains several coded clues to the nature of the threat that faces Arkham. Plus a law minus one. Okay, he's only got one die. You blemo, you blemo. He's a fail. So that's nothing. This guy is at uh, the witch's house, I think. No, the Black Cave. The moaning winds in the cave whisper your name. Lose one sanity. Okay, that's pretty inconsequential to a guy with seven sanity. She is at the... Actually, she's not going to... Oh, yeah, she's going to do that. So, Arkham Asylum. Do a law zero check. Her law is three. It's a fail. The stories fill you with horror. Even as you learn a few bits of knowledge, you lose one sanity and gain one clue. Okay. It's a bit rough losing sanity at the... Uh, she's at the administration building. It's a bit rough losing sanity while you're at the Arkham Asylum. Oops, I just drew two cards by accident. Your discussion on the mythos leads campus security to conclude that you're off your rocker and they escort you off the campus. Move immediately to Arkham Asylum and have an encounter there. Okay. 
You find some strange medicine labelled Dream Enhancers in a dusty cabinet. If you choose to take it, make a Law minus one check. Yeah, let's do it. Let's keep doing it, baby. Let's roll everything. If you pass, your vision shows you how to perform a ritual. Draw one spell. Okay, that works. Your blammo. Shriveling, nice. Uh, she is going to go one, two, three. Oh, and she also gained a dollar from from uh, Deputy of Arkham, which means she's going to leave one dollar over there. Ancient Tablet, Necromonicon, and Nameless Cults will take Necromonicon. See, this is weird. So this one here, right, you draw one spell and lose two sanity. Oh, you don't discard the Necromonicon. That's the difference. And that costs $6, which you can't afford anyway. So we'll get this one. It costs three. One, two, three. Okay. And she's also here. So let's go one, two, three. She's got five bucks. She'll take Nameless Cults for five dollars. Thank you. A three dollars. One, two, three. And now the other world encounter in Yogoth. Pass a luck minus one check to discover a vital document. Gain two clues. Her luck is two. So she gets to roll one die. And there's no loss here. Yeah. Ooh, beautiful. So she gets two clues. Oops, I've been using the other mod so much I forgot. Uh, in the new mod, like in the final version, when you click the other world thing, it just draws the correct card. It draws until you hit the correct card. But it actually, it's blue and yellow, and that's a green. So let's just... Uh, there's a yellow one. Here's the next one. We'll just get rid of those two clues. We are in other still. The sky is spinning. Pass a will minus two check or pass out and stay here next turn. Okay, so her will is five. So that is three dice. And we could really do with passing this. Otherwise, we are going to extend the length of the game. Beautiful. Noise. Okay, that's really lucky because uh, I actually didn't discover this until I was editing, so <laughs> that saves me from having to redo the whole turn. Excellente. Don't worry, we had a clue and a reroll with Mandy, so I'm pretty, I was pretty certain we we're going to pass. Bam. Okay, now let's draw the next mythos. Yablamo, Unvisited Isle, which has a uh, Elder Sign, so nothing happens. Circles and everything moves, but there are no monsters. We've killed all the monsters yet again, so there's nothing to kill. Clue appears at the Science Building. And all monsters in the French Hill Streets are returned to the cup. There are no monsters, so that's the end of that. Easy. Yablamo. Let's go back to Dexter. Uh, Dexter will just go... One, two, three, four, five. The Doctor is going to stay where he is. This guy, he can go one, two, three, back to the Twilight Lodge. He also has to roll for his thingo. I'm just trying to go really fast because we basically won the game. Ooh, he almost lost his... Oh, he did. And he loses that. Uh, Jenny. Where's Jenny? She's going to stay where she is. Gets another dollar for our upkeep. Amanda is going to go one, two, three over here she's going to take the five dollars from you she's going to take the money from you and give them to mandy this girl here is going to use her sanity ability to gain another sanity 
and then she's just going to teleport to the science building she also gains another dollar I've already done that and before she teleports she'll give Mandy another dollar and Mandy's gonna stay where she is and this girl is going to gain a sanity using the healing stone and then she's going to do find gate which is a casting modifier of three dice at the cost of one sanity uh, she gained one uh, health I mean okay so that's a pass return immediately so she comes back with a explored marker. Your blammo. Okay. So this guy is back at the magic shop to finish the turn. Looking into a glass ball, you receive a vision of things to come. Turn the top card of one location deck of your choice face up. The next investigator to have an encounter at that location draws that encounter card. Uh, I need to make provision in the card drawer to deal with uh, you know right side up cards it doesn't actually do that so if I actually drew that card I'll draw the one under the one face up I need to fix that okay this guy is at the newspaper and five dollars thank you very much one two three four five you blink this bloke here is back at the lodge see this doesn't make whenever you have an account oh you have you have an encounter at the inner sanctum i've been playing this wrong a little you have to go to the inner sanctum he does not trust you at the climax of the monthly ceremony do a luck minus two check will be cursed and eh, let's just be cursed why not Jenny is going to spend $2 and get all of her sanity back. Amanda is over here. She's going to actually have an encounter at the shop. She has a speed minus one check, which is three dice. As you wander into the back of the shop, you hear a noise. Pass a speed minus one check, or you look up just in time to see a descending club. Everything goes black. When you awaken, you're somewhere else. When you awaken, you're somewhere else. Draw a Mythos card and move to the gate location shown on it. Then immediately have an encounter there. So we passed, which means we didn't actually have that encounter, which would have been better to, more fun to do. Uh, this girl is in the science building. Blammo. You find a muscular, bored-looking man who challenges you to an arm wrestling match. Lose two stamina if you accept. I can't lose two stamina. So I do not accept. Yonk. And Mandy Thompson. Let's just go one, two, three. She'll take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. She'll buy the plus three movement for eight dollars. And finally, we are back with Gloria, who finishes the game by losing one sanity and one stamina, discarding an elder sign. And that, my friends closes and seals the last gate and that is it oh you know what we forgot to do we forgot to roll for disturbing the dead not that it makes a difference two so the terror level would have gone up one And uh, what's the six one again? I think that's the science building. I can't remember. Whatever, one of the other ones is closed. I think it's the science building. Doesn't really matter. 
The point is we have completed this. We have one, two, three, four, five, six sealed gates. And that is the end of that. Yogi is absolutely crushed. Actually lose another one of these. We owned this game. It was unbelievable how easy that was. Having eight players, I thought it would be super hard, but it was actually super easy because you had just so many spells and items. I mean, we went right through the item deck. There's only five, there's only four. <laughs> we went right through the item deck twice. This is discarded. There's only four still in the deck. So next time I play eight, I will definitely play with larger decks. But uh, that is the end of this run. Uh, this is an old version of the mod. I'm going to do another playthrough using uh, the the release version of the mod just to finalize, make sure there's no errors in it before I start adding more content. And I will play with all the cards, all the card, everything I've got added to the mod to spice it up a little bit more. And I'll also use different people. But that's it. That is Arkham Horror, and I'll see you guys next time.